William Shakespeare said, the eyes are the windows to the soul. But your next trip to the ophthalmologist could reveal a lot about your overall health as well. Eye specialists often see clues in the eyes that warn of health issues elsewhere in the body. Ophthalmologist Dr. Deborah Bartholomew of Trinidad Eye Hospital is in agreement with us. Even with regard to diabetes and high blood pressure, we can often see changes taking place in the eye even before someone is diagnosed with diabetes or with high blood pressure. But it is an extraordinary fact that women are at greater risk for some eye diseases than men. According to recent studies published in the Lancet Global Health, women carry the greater burden of visual impairment for the majority of diseases studied. You would think that men are the ones who are more at risk of blindness, but it's not. It's actually women. 65% um, of, of the world's severely impaired or blind um, um, population are women. Um, uh, it's estimated over 112 million um, women um, are, are, are blind. This is so because the doctor says women's bodies are different to men's. Hormones play a part. So there are times when hormones will, will, your hormones will change during pregnancy, during perimenopause and menopause where you can get eye problems. Um, and then there's, there's, the, there's the, the other thing where women, because they are generally the caregivers, tend to neglect themselves. She says glaucoma is another as it is silent and irreversible. Another malady that is a big threat are dry eyes. The Sahara dust is a huge factor, okay? Um, Sahara dust not only causes dryness, but also causes irritation. Um, you find that we tend to be more and more, and as you get older, you become more and more allergic. She notes that working in air conditioning and again spending hours on the computer can be quite detrimental to eye health. Her solution for this is a unique rule. If you do spend a lot of time on, on the computer, there is a rule called the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes you take a 20 second break uh, and you blink 20 times but you also look 20 feet into the distance. One of the things that that will do, especially as we get, um, we get past the age of 40, is that it breaks the cycle of accommodation. Because when you are accommodating all the time, it's like, it's like lifting something with your biceps all day. Dr. Bartholomew says besides this rule, self-care, that is, eating well, also lubricating the eye and exercising consistently can go a long way to keeping eyes healthy. Mary Therese Bernard for Health Check.